Hello, today I'll be showing you how to copy across data from Excel into Ignition. Now this is actually as simple as you may think. So say I've got this data and I want to copy it across. Copy. I've created a tag, that's a data set tag. And I want to paste the data into it. Doesn't work. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is follow across this documentation. However, what this documentation doesn't cover, and which I'll be covering, is how to copy across dates, because that's actually quite difficult, and I had to work that out myself. So, um, feel free to look at this website and follow that. Otherwise, I'll show you how to do it right now. So, I'm going to copy across this data. I'll make a new Excel file, which I've already prepared here. You want to paste it as um, values and number formatting. And you want to make sure that there's no blank spaces in this uh, Excel file. And I'll show you why later. Um, but for now, let's delete all um, the unnecessary values. Now, if I was only going to paste across these two columns, it would actually be quite easy because they're both integers. But as I explained before, I want to make them into dates. So to do that, I use the date command. So I know when this data is recorded, it was 2023, it was in August, and it was August the uh, 10th. And I also know it was recorded at 10 a.m., so use time, 10 a.m. And then the time zone zero is when I start recording. So simply just put in uh, the value there, A2. So now as you can see, it's uh, in the correct um, it's in a date format, but what we want to do is put in the correct format. So we go more number formats, custom, and the format it follows is year, 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 dash, month, month, dash, day, day, space, hour, hour, minute, minute, second, seconds. And now it's formatted correctly, so let's drag this data down and get all the data we need. Now again, we want to copy this and we want to paste it as uh, as the values number formatting. And let's delete all the blank spaces. As I said before, you want to make sure there's no blank spaces. Now, what we want to do is save this as a CSV file. Uh, just making sure there's no blank spaces. As you can see, the CSV UTF-A 8 doesn't always work, so just use the comma separated values format, even though they're both .csv. We'll call it testing. Now let's go open up that file. We want to open it using uh, text edit. So on Windows, I assume this would also be Notepad, but uh, we're on Mac right now. And as you can see, there was some videos I missed because there's um, some spaces. Uh, there's some commas, which indicates there's some columns with um, spaces in them like empty data but it still will show up so we need to open up again Excel uh, the annoying thing with this is that whenever you reopen up again it stuffs up the dates so you need to reformat them again so again it's uh, our hour minute minute second seconds and before that you've got to put the year uh, month month day day so let's make sure there's no blank data so I think there might be some blank data but, uh, down here, so let's delete that. It's a bit of a guessing game. Delete. Save this again. Open this with text edit. Uh, yep, so we fixed it. Now the next stage we want to do is uh, follow what was on this website. So I will just copy across. Um, this formatting so you have hashtags names and then we have the column names so the first column we want to call date second column we want to call uh, sensor value and there's no third column so let's get rid of that the types we have the date type and then we have an integer and there's 688 rows save that. I don't actually even need to really save it at this point, it's already done, but 
all we need to do now is just copy this. So select everything, Control C or Command C on Mac. Then we go to Ignition, and we go back to this tag before that didn't work. And now when we try paste it, it works. Now uh, that's the end of the tutorial for now. But I'll show you why I want to put in the date format. Um, just as a bit of a bonus. So I've got my vision client here and I'll go navigate to the primary crusher and I've basically just got a chart so the dates work well with charts so this is kind of showing the vibration over time and that's why I chose to put it in the date value if you put it uh, times in zero it wouldn't really work anyway thank you for watching um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial